have something, something for you. Might be interested in. Something you need? Forgive me for pulling you aside again, but, well, there's so much to process right now. The Emissary, the Hunter, the Unity, an entire multiverse. I can't even begin to wrap my head around it all. I don't know where to begin. The fact that we are the origin of the Starborn. Humans literally reborn by entering the Unity. The same, yet different. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I feel like most of the knowledge we've amassed in the last few centuries about the universe has just been made obsolete. Yes, that's exactly right. Humans are clearly a victim of their own success. We've been pushing further and further outwards from our home, when we should have spent more time being prepared for the consequences. Our current problem relates closely to the nature of humans as a species. This rushed curiosity has led us to enter the Unity and become Starborn. Perhaps, but I don't believe we're ready to deal with the consequences. Here we are, caught in the middle of some sort of needlessly violent crusade between the Hunter and the Emissary. You'd think that a technologically advanced society would have evolved past petty squabbling over something like the artifacts. It almost makes me wonder if entering the Unity has done them more harm than good. No, no, that's not it at all. When you pass into whatever lies beyond, we don't know what will become of you. Will you remember your life as you knew it? Will the hunger to collect the artifacts consume your life like it's clearly consumed the Starborn? I'm just as curious to find out what's on the other side as well, but that's not the point. As the Chair of Constellation, I want all of us to have this opportunity to explore the Unity. It would be the pinnacle exploration of our lives. However, after we enter the Unity, we'll likely evolve. You and I, as we stand here right now, will essentially cease to exist. You're a respected colleague, and I wouldn't want to lose you. Yes, of course. Of course. Listen, I realize nothing that I say is ever going to change your mind or diminish the enticement of this incredible opportunity. All I ask is that you research the facts before you blindly stumble off into the unknown. Thank you. Well, I suppose I've ruined the moment again, haven't I? <laughs> I'm getting quite good at that lately. I'll let you get back to whatever you were doing. Just think what we discussed. I know I will. We should have a talk, when you have the time, of course. Sorry to pull you aside like this, but I wanted to take a moment to congratulate you. Taking those steps to eradicate the Terramorph threat is essential to the safety of every living thing in the settled systems. You should be proud. Indeed. Leaving that problem unchecked could have made the situation go from bad to worse. Well, I'm relieved that the United Colonies agreed to use their genetically engineered microbe to exterminate the Terramorphs. Apparently, their decision was based on your recommendation. Hmm. That was a smart choice you've made. A solid scientific decision. That's a wise decision. Besides, if Chief Engineer Kalkani believes that the microbe will be effective, then we have to trust her experience. Good, good. Mm, 
I wouldn't want you to think it was some kind of mistake. Despite the Lazarus plant being simply locked away, your decision has made the settled systems a safer place to live for years to come. Oh, well, uh, of course. I'm happy to be there for you. If there's anything else you ever feel like discussing, you let me know. Hey, Captain. Need help with anything? Welcome to Ryujin Industries. Can I help you? You must be one of the candidates that Imogene Salzo is interviewing today. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room, follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. Sounds like a maze, right? So if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. Great. Well, good luck then. I'm sure I'll see you on your way out. I better do this right. I don't want you go breathing down my neck again. Great. A full spacesuit. Corporate environments aren't that toxic. Have a seat. All right, just to get a few things straight here, I'm Imogen Salzo, Senior Operations Specialist here at Ryujin Industries. I don't normally do this, but my counterpart Yuko is indisposed at the moment, so here I am. We're looking for someone to fill an entry-level administrative position. Apparently, our algorithm has failed us and believes you to be a decent match, which I'll take up with our technicians later. So, let's get this over with. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? An excellent question. Especially since when asked how familiar you were with Ryujin, you answered, not at all. I'm sure you just did your homework before the appointment, right? But let's move on. 
This next one should be interesting, considering you marked having zero experience and no education. Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? I can't help but wonder if that's why you're here today and not behind bars, considering your track record. And yes, of course we know you have one. Yuko's algorithm at least hasn't failed us there. Your past is not a concern, for now. Just know that we have ways of keeping an eye on you around here. How motivated are you to succeed? All in, huh? At least that's an attitude we can work with here. And finally, my last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? Full disclosure? It's all about making deals with the right people around here. You put those skills of yours to good use and choose the right sides. You probably won't be running the place, but you'll be right next to the one who does. So look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. On a probationary period? Of course. First order. There's a meeting starting soon and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. Fairly easy, so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogene Salzo, and you should get served right away. Over at Keltko. She's too good for me. Sounds like she's trying to find someone. It's taking so long. <clears throat> Thanks for choosing Terra Brew. What can I get you? Oh, the reunion order. You must be new. What happened to Tomo? Did he finally get that? I got fired. Is what happened. And this. Is the soulless suit they got to replace me. Tomo, I'm sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind a desk. Getting coffee. Kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen just to get replaced by this nobody? Yeah, I bet you are. No one's ever sorry in this business. And now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands. Believe me, it's either you or me. You want to talk? <laughs> I'll tell you what, you get one chance to prove you deserve this job. Change my mind and I'll walk away. Fail? And I think you know where this is headed. I wish it didn't have to be this way, but... You can't be that good. Not yet! Look, at some point, Ularu really will send you after me. Just, just promise me you'll remember this, that, that uh, when I came after you, I gave you the chance to talk me down. You're either one of the few good people in Neon, or you already know a thing or two about leverage. Just don't make me regret this. Hey, no worries on anyone calling security here. Take it from me, Ryujin will handle any drama that may come from this. You'll want to be sure to report it to them. Yes, of course. Here it is. Oh, and please let Mr. Cho know that we did have the recommended maintenance done. I triple-checked the grind myself, and a mistake like that will never happen again.
There's always work to be done. Base yourself. I hope that coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. You either need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? Good answer. And the one I was hoping for since we learned of the incident before your return. Your handling of the Tomo situation has caught some attention, and we'd like to try you out in a different role at the company. And since Yuko isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. So, congratulations, you've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? You say that now, but let's move on to the details. I'm promoting you to Junior Operative. The position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? Really? Well, this transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. The other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. Ah, coffee. You'd think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but Terra Brew it is. Terra Brew would be a substantial purchase, but we fully intend to develop the Tranquility brand. Current projections are set to surpass Terra Brew within the next five years. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Officer. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Which, hopefully, won't be often. We'll see. We've yet to have an operative with a perfect record. This introduction was... not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. Just what I needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve, Head of Marketing and Public Relations. Likewise. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? <laughs> yeah, that's what they all say. Just know that one screw up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. So any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. Coffee, finally. Well, let's have a look at you. That depends on your actions going forward. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, are my troubles. So steer clear of law enforcement. We may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Freestar Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. Let's hope your best is good enough. So, fetching coffee one minute, and junior operative the next. Gamden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. We won't work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. Ah, oh, so she remembered. Not that I expect much out of Terrebrew Coffee, but hey, I suspected their grinder was on its last leg. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up, People in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. Please do. It's easy to get wrapped up in the bad if that's all you see. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee.
hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. I can only imagine. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. We have reason to believe that our friends at Keltcorp are trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. My words exactly. We can't allow them to win the contract, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. Remember, this is confidential. We can't have anyone at Keltcorp getting suspicious. When all is said and done, it should be as if you were never there. Here's the data slate. Good luck. A gala at the new Atlantis Free Star Embassy. Hamza kept pestering me about his damn missing slate. Security's got time to track something like that down. Hmm. What do you want to do for the break later? I don't know, but I gotta get out of here. It's been non-stop interruptions since this morning, and I'm not spending another break at my desk. months. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to Terrebrew right now. Yeah? Kill for a cup of coffee right about now. This report isn't bad, but you're going to need more supporting evidence. Imogene's a stickler for details. What is That's it? That's what I was afraid of. Well, look who survived their first assignment. How'd it go? Anything to report? I know what you mean, but that you're missing peace, right? Now. Not a single setback. All right. I'll get on it. <laughs> I knew you were going to be perfect for this job. If you recall, setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews. You get my drift. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. I'm sure you understand. 
Exactly. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, let's try your hand at a little uh, framing. One of our subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract against Laredo. Now, the buyer likes to keep their associations clean, and will be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. We just need you to visit their office first, and accidentally leave behind some incriminating evidence against their company. Good. This one should be easy to pull off. Laredo has their own building, unlike Keltcorp, so at least there's only a single layer of security to deal with. Here's the slate we need you to plant. It holds confidential files that'll cast the perfect negative light on our friends at Laredo. Now, get going. Chain disruptions in the Cheyenne
made all sorts of Aquila City. So we had to clean up the graffiti on the range again. Why don't we just close it down? It's not, not enough to do around here. I need some it's dates. But you know, stretch back. Lord, and worse. Let them. A few beer bottles and graffiti is the least. Awesome. Thank <laughs> you. 
I was hoping you'd show up soon. Is it done? Excellent. I'll let Ularo know that we can start moving forward with our negotiations. Now, I think it's time to examine a different set of skills. <laughs>